So, brushing great. Um, lots of systems out there. Um, when we think of a, of a brushing grate, it is easy. Uh, I mean, it works really well. It, I mean, it's quick to do. Uh, a lot of people have a few problems with it because they always leave a bit of a staining, but the, the UV, sort of the ultraviolet, sort of burns off the, any sort of staining eventually anyway. Like, the beauty about any brushing grates is that you can get it out easy. And that's why a lot of um, cleaning contractors, that's what we were talking about, they don't like to do the driveways because it's all or the patios because it washes it all out doesn't it yeah it all comes loose so when you have a joint no matter how wide that joint is whether it's natural stone or even whether it's porcelain is that they they've used this brush and grate in between there's there's a few things that are not right with it number one it's not compacted the idea about civil engineering if you look at civil engineering as as a whole is on roadworks that everything is about good compaction right from when they do the dig out when they bone out they go over with the roller then they start putting the sub base in they go over the roller they put some more sub base in another roller then they put a base coat tarmac or they put a lemix then they put start putting base coat tarmacs but everything's done at levels but everything is severely compacted all right now with brush and grouch you're not going to get it severely compacted the idea is that when it's severely compacted is that the water gets thrown off the top and it goes across your paving or your driveway either through a, a cross fall or a camber now the thing is about brushing grouts is that it allows the water to permeate through now that porosity value the rate of flow of water that goes through that grouting system is your sub base is as good as that and the answer is no it's not because a lot of guys will use an mot they compact it then they use some bedding mortar and then they use these brush and grouts so that the water goes through the grout it hits the bedding mortar so it's not going to go anywhere from there onwards and even if your bedding mortar soaks up any water it's not going to go through the sub base so your water basically for long periods of time are sat in that joint when it's sat in that joint what actually happens then is then eventually it starts to break down you have the freeze thaw effect the grout system starts breaking down and then it starts popping out and the other thing of course is then that water is allowed to get to your bedding mortar underneath when it when it gets to the bedding mortar then you have this um the same effect on your bedding mortar as what it was having on your grouting system now for a lot of people that is difficult to sort of try and understand but what we don't want is this detrimental effect of the freeze thaw effects eventually with basically ingression through through horizontal levels water going through through the grout going through the bed especially if, if you if you haven't slowed the if you haven't slowed the back of the slab the water ingresses horizontally across then when it starts freezing because it's not that far underground you're only talking about 20 mil to the bottom of your slab then you get the free store effect and eventually your paving's going to pop and it pops quite easy that's a good thing about it and it's easy to, to relay then so then they brought out these brushing grates with a resin system in it uh, but it's still got a porosity value the water goes through it's almost like the best way to look at it. it's like it's like sugar puffs isn't it that grant those granular bits it's all sticky it all stuck together it sticks together but the water can permeate through and then it gets to a point it slows up and it sits if you've got a bed where you have a granular bed where the water almost like marshall's had that system years ago called priora priora paving is for a permeable driveway system but it's only as good as your sub base if your sub base isn't allowing the water to go through and running away and keep moving not sitting there and the other thing of course is not just the free thaw effect we spoke neil about algae growth liking the the living organisms that start getting in between and allowing weeds to grow in between it so i would say my preference is using a cementaceous grout system okay which has a porosity value all right anything that is cementaceous the water will it will soak some of the water up but more than often it will throw the water off uh, at a different rate in comparison to the the brush and grouts does that make sense absolutely does my hair look right a little bit do you know, somebody's yeah. going to say that i'm arrogant now because i just brushed my hair i'm just so glad that i got some <laughs> i say no more <laughs>